We've released a new report from the Society of Actuaries Research Institute called Emerging Technologies and Their Impact on Actuarial Science. Uh, the increasing availability of technologies is, is certainly changing the way many industries have to traditionally operated, including industries that are surrounding the actuarial profession. And this particular study highlights the leading emerging technologies that may significantly impact the actual profession over the coming three-year horizon. I think the study can also act as a guide and a resource for actuaries or even employers to identify the prospective tools that will be enhancing or expanding actuarial work. And, and for, for people collaborating with actuaries, it's a good guide to give you a sense of who may be affected by these technologies. And even for thought leaders looking to enable teams that employ actuaries through the introduction and use of these types of tools. Um, David, in, in the report, we, we talk about this concept or this definition of emerging technology. I guess, help me understand or describe, you know, what was the research team looking towards when we talk about emerging technologies? Uh, good question, Dale. Um, very good question. Um, what is an emerging technology? Uh, we define an emerging t technology uh, a technology that will emerge within a three-year time horizon and that significantly affects the actual profession. So, for ex and what is a technology? It's We call it a practical application of knowledge as opposed to a platform or a vendor and emerging. So, the technology should not be mature among the actual pro profession right now, um, at the beginning, at the beginning of 2021, uh, uh, toward the when we started the the research, uh, but is emerging within the three years horizon. Yeah, so I, I imagine you kind of take a whole bunch of potential technologies, and what what was the process? Or the report went through a process of deciding which ones fit this definition. Yes, exactly. Um, we precisely did that. We listed 16 emerging technologies. Some technologies could be classified as tools, like tools to manage data, visualize data, ETL, low-code uh, low uh, platform that are part of the group, as well as robotic, uh, uh, robotic process automation, that type of things. Some technology could be also classified as advanced mathematics, and machine learning techniques, supervised or not, a hidden Markov chain will be in that bucket, for example. And some technologies that address a specific aspect, for example, privacy enhanced techniques would be a good example here. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that, you know, as I think about emerging technologies, there are probably there's some that fit in my mind and, and may have some parts of that definition covered, but probably didn't exactly fit within all the parameters of the definition. Maybe what are, what are some of the things that maybe didn't fit fully within this emerging technology definition? Yeah, we had a we had a great conversation on that. On that, uh, we had, for example, a debate on blockchain and its application, including cryptocurrency. Is that um, is that an emerging technology or is that already emerged? Um, is that affecting the actual profession or not? This one at the end, we decided that it will not affect the actual profession directly, but it will affect the type of product sold, but not the work of the actuaries directly. We also mentioned like cloud computing, cybersecurity, telemedicine. Those were not selected and they are not emerging anymore. They are, they are already here. Right. Yeah. Some of those things, you know, are almost becoming so common that they don't fit that emerging definition anymore. And, and so that's helpful, I guess, you know, then you have this list of potential emerging technologies. Um, what, what did you end up doing with that list going forward? So we explained a little bit what the emerging technology is, what's, uh, what's in it. Uh, the reader can see like what's in it for me in, uh, in each of those technology. And uh, you can see, do you want to develop it now? Do you want to, to implement it um, at your company or not? You can really see a little bit the, the cost benefit um, of each of the technology. If it's um, if what's in it for you, that's uh, that's really uh, important. What I really like in that report is um, there is a main takeaway. Uh, there is a list of all the technology and kind of what you should do. 
if you're an entry level actuary, you can see the technology that's uh, coming down the pike and you can try to learn about it and, uh, and get familiarized. If you are a mid manager, you can check your needs and what tool could be good, uh, a good fit for you uh, to address those needs. And then you can turn around and pitch it to your hierarchy. Hey, I need a, I need a Tableau license for my um, data visualization, for example. Um, and if you are a more senior actuary, you can understand the options that you have in front of you and start doing that cost-benefit analysis to see where you want your company to be uh, in the next few years. And of course, not every tool, not every technology is um, does make sense for every company. So as a as the needs, but also the available expertise uh, uh, could be very different from one company to the next. Yeah, that's what that's what I really that's what I liked about this report as I went through it. You kind of see some of the practical practical application of all these emerging technologies, and and depending on your role or your level, you kind of you know, have a guide as to what might be next. Um, David, thanks very much for stopping by to discuss this emerging technologies and their impact on actuarial science report with us. And this report, I think, is really an important read for, for all of us across the breadth of the actuarial profession. You know, as our profession reviews all this information regarding the technologies that are in this report, I think it's a good, good tool to you know, consider all these different emerging technologies. They have some overlapping functionality. They all solve um, problems in some way or shape or form. And really, the choice between certain technologies is going to depend a lot heavily on you know, where you're coming from, what your existing technology is today, what other adjacent users, maybe such as your IT or other management within your company is doing and are comfortable working with, and, and also you know, the type of training that uh, is, is available or the resources you have to bridge any of that implementation gap that you might have. And of course, you know, the budget to cover this total cost of ownership. I would say if you have any feedback or questions about this particular research, simply send us an email. Give us give us an email at research at soa.org. This report, Emerging Technologies and Their Impact on Actuarial Science, can be found on the SOA website. Go to soa.org, click on research, then choose it from the innovation and technology from the research drop-down menu. Thanks for checking in with us again today to hear more about this research coming from the Society of Actuaries Research Institute.